what's up? Where's the best albums? Kanye, let's do it. All right, first of all, Kanye West, I think artistically he is arguably the best hip hop has ever seen. He treats his albums like they are works of art. Like he puts so much effort and time into these, into his albums, whether you love them or you hate them. They, you can tell that he he still cares about each and every project, like like they're their kid, like his kids or something. He really really cares about the music he puts out, and to me, like a fellow artist, that is incredibly respectable. Like you know, he's my second favorite rapper of all time behind him and them. Like I I still think he makes some of the best albums in hip hop. That's my opinion. So let's go on to this list. All right, sixth place, last place, Yeezus. Everybody got that. Most rappers got that one album that I genuinely just don't like at all. This is Kanye's. This was his most recent album. Came out last year. You know, he didn't. It was different. You could, it was mostly different from his other albums. It was like a more alternative feel to it. He wasn't really trying to get on the radio this time. He was just trying to. He was doing him. He was like, if you don't like it, fuck it. I don't care. And I didn't like it. Then apparently he doesn't care. Oh well. <laughs> like I went to the, um I went to the Yeezus show that came to the Palace a couple like last month and. Every time he did a Yeezus song that wasn't New Slaves or Black Skinhead, I sat down. I was like, I was like, this, I'm not feeling this. I can't, I can't, I can't get jiggy with this shit. Like, I, I can't get hype with this. I just couldn't. So I was trying. I was just, I don't know. Like, I tried to listen to the album. Like, I bought into the hype at first. I was like, oh, this is dope. Like, it's, it's different. It's so cool. And I listened to it again. I was like, uh. I, listened, I was like, eh. and I listened to it again. And I was like, uh, this, nah, <laughs> this, is, this is not, this is not for me, man. Like you know, it you know like the the beats were like really different. Like then he had like that Daft Punk one for um what was that one? The first one on site, and like and I normally like Daft Punk, but I didn't like that beat. I didn't really care for Kanye. You know his, his rhymes. I didn't really care for the overall musical style of this album. It's just it's different to the point like we're like we're just we're just weird to the point like the niggas just don't want to mess with. It. Like critics love this album, but I know like quite a few like heavy Kanye fans like this. This, this this shit was ass. Like you know, just that's to me. That's kind of what it was. Like I like I like new slaves a lot. I like black skinhead, and that's about it. Honestly, like people like me, you know, all hyped about Bound too. But I don't really like that song like that either. Honestly, so <laughs> yeah, last place. Have fun with that. Uh, fifth place. What was that record? Eight Ways and Heartbreak. Yeah, that was it. Eight Ways and Heartbreak. That was that's another like really really different album from Kanye. You know, it was, uh, that was a time like when his mom died, R.I.P., the Donda. You know, he was, you know, he was going through, he's going through a lot. You know, he's going through like a bad breakup. He, you know, you could tell like Kanye was in a very, very dark place in his mind. He's talking about committing, he wanted to commit suicide. He was, he was hurting. And I, I really, I, that, I can empathize with him because, you know, like I've lost a parent. And, you know, it's, it's stuff like that is hard. Like his mom, he was so close to his mom to the point, like, you know, like it was like, that was like a, a very, very dear friend of him. And he, he was hurting. You can tell, like, I I, I kind of feel bad putting his album solo because like like the because the inspiration behind it, but like musically wise, you know I'm not I'm not too big of a fan of it. It was a heartbreak. There are some joints on here that I like. I like Heartless. Heartless was cool. Love Lockdown. Um, Amazing was good except for Jeezy part. Um, Coldest Winter. I like that one. Welcome to Heartbreak. Him and Kid Cudi. It, it was different. Like there wasn't much. I can, I was expecting rapping from you know more rapping from this, and that's not what I got. Like he's not that good of a singer, and auto tune annoys me. Auto tune annoys the shit out of me. So I'm just sitting there like this. Like you know, like the the songwriting's cool. The beats are great. I love the beats on this album, but this I I can't really. It's not. There's no one album just not for me really. It's there's some songs that I like, but as, as a whole, I don't really care for it. Okay, fourth place. Nigga's not going to agree with this probably, but. But actually, every every album after you know from here on out, are, all albums I think are great. And the fourth place goes to the College Dropout, his debut, one of the best debut albums ever made by a rapper. You know, you got Illmatic, you got you know Ready to Die, and you got this. You got College Dropout. College Dropout was was great. Like it it came in two thousand four. It was you know his first project. People, it was very very different. It was very different from what you know what people were hearing at the time. Like at the time, like rap mostly infested with gangster rap. It was, but Kanye. It was Kanye made it cool to be you again. It was very very unique, and he made it cool to be unique, be something different. He wasn't rapping about shooting people or selling crack. That wasn't that wasn't Kanye's life. That's not the life that he lived. He went to he went to college and you know he you know he dropped out. Hence the title. 
and he just he made like music that was different, like for the, the people who can relate to. Because not everybody's a gangster. Not every hip hop fan shoots people and like not don't want to hear that shit. Non, you know, all nonstop and stuff. That's why I really liked this album. You know, he was he was just you know making different music from what everybody else was doing. You know, just going your own lane is. It's something that, like, he influenced a lot of people with this. Like, you know, J. Cole, ASAP Rocky, Childish Gambino, you know, like, a lot, and Big Sean, his own artist. A lot of, like, the big rappers now were influenced heavily by the college dropout. It had the the classic Jesus Walks, which a lot of people say is Kanye's best song. It's not my personal favorite, like, not my favorite Kanye song, but I still love that song. You know, just, you know, it was, it was, it was a very fun listen, a very, like, a really breath of fresh air to hip hop. And it was great. I loved it. Like you said, Double uh, XL gave that a uh, you know five to five rating. I think it deserved it. Great album. Okay, third place, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. This album, it it at first when I first heard it, I did not care for it really. Like, it was okay. I didn't like. I wasn't crazy about it. But the more I listened to this album, I really. It is. It grew on me a lot, man. It, it's it's a phenomenal album. Like I think this has some some of Kanye's best rapping on it. Like it has like I love damn near every song on this album, man. Like like I, I love Power from the Jump. I thought I, was, I thought I knew that was a great song. It's one of my favorite Kanye songs. I love Gorgeous with him and Kid Cudi and Raekwon. I love the Soul of Paul. Soul of Paul is one of my favorite posse cuts in recent years. Like Jay Z's, especially Jay Z's verse. Jay Z snapped on this shit. I'm not even like a really big Jay Z fan, but I gotta get credit with credit is due. Like I love Jay Z's verse on that song. Pusha T went in, Ye went in, Sai the Prince. Like he used to have my favorite verse, and I think he's had my least favorite verse. The more I listen to this song, but it was like it was still he still he still did his thing, man. It's not like he was whack. So you know, like I feel like everybody nobody it was no weak links on that song. Like I guess RZA, I ain't really fuck with. Like, I only see what RZA was on that track. It just had like a lot of great songs on there. Like it was when he was dealing with you know the whole Amber Rose thing and just. Kanye, he he hit the nail on the head perfectly with that. It was different from the older albums, but it wasn't different to the point where it kind of put me off as the eight away and heartbreak Yeezus did. It was like he he he, he switched it up. Like, that's what I think I like. I like about Kanye's music is like none of his albums really sound the same to me. They all sound different. I feel like he's in a different place when he's making these albums. And I think when Dark Twisted Fantasy did a great job, the production was was great. But no, I think just about every single Kanye album has great production other than other than Yeezus. So, you know, production, you know, kind of keep it in, in all of them, really. Except for Yeezy. So, yeah, I love that album. Second place, The Silver Medal. Late Registration. For a while, I thought this was Kanye's best album. Like, you know, I, I bounced back and forth between the albums. I think it's about, like, current, it's going off thing currently. Like, right now, I think I think Late Registration is his best, is one of his best albums, his second best album. And, um, this actually sounds very similar to me, to, like, to, um, to the college dropout his debut, but, like, it, it was the Super Saiyan version of the college dropout. It was an improvement. Like, production was better. The songs were better. It felt like he just, he stepped up his game a lot. Because he outshined a, a a damn near perfect album. Like, that's hard to do. But he managed to do it. Because I think, yeah, he puts that much effort into the music that he makes. Like, um, he was talking about a lot of social issues and stuff. Like, and I uh, heard him say, which I love that song, Crack Music. We was talking about, you know, like the, you know, the crack in the crack epidemic and stuff like that. Like how it's like destroying the nation. Like Ronald Reagan cooked up an answer to stop the Black Panthers. It was, it was, it was very well done on this album. I love Diamonds for Sierra Leone. Um, what's another song? I just am crazy. But I love Roses. I didn't care for Roses as much until my grandma passed. Like when, when, like I always liked the song, but I like, like now I love that song. After my grandma died, it is, when I first, when I first listened to that song after my grandma died, I started, I teared up. Like that song. That song is so real, man. Like it's like thankfully, like you know, his, his grandma didn't die at the end of the song. But you know, to me, like I, I, I really, I kind of wish that you know it kind of ended that way for my, you know, my grandma. Like she pulled through, but she didn't. So, you know, man, it's just that, that album was so it was it, it was perfect. That was one of his perfect. Like, he has more than one perfect album. So it's kind of hard to rate them sometimes. But I think Larry Strachan was a perfect album. All right, number one. Kind of like my drum roll thing. Um, graduation. Number one goes to graduation. The graduation, I love the how mo it, it. It felt like it felt like a, a victory when I listened to this album. It's so upbeat and happy, like good life and champion. Where it just felt like you know, kind of he was like he was so confident. He was like so confident. Felt like it was, he felt victorious. It really felt like a song that you could play at a graduation. Like I could have graduated to good life. Or invited, you know, I graduated like a couple years ago, so not me, but 
people that graduated in 07 graduated the good life. Wait, was it when that come out? Did that come out after graduation season? Who cares? Anyway, but nah. It's I it was it was so it was so upbeat and happy. Like I love the song, like I love the production. I love songs like Flash and Lights and Champion and Good Life. Like there's no song on this album that I don't like. Like the other kind of albums have at least one song that I tend to skip. I don't skip a single song on graduation. Sometimes I feel like skipping Drunken Hot Girls, but I don't skip it. I listen to it anyway. But it's just I love the I love the you know, the vibe of this album. I love songs like, you know, The Glory. Where he was like this, you know, he was he was rap, he was going hard at the same time, like, you know, he still like he wasn't going hard as an angry, he was going hard as in like he is, I'm the man. I made it. Like this album was supposed to make fifty cent retire, because you know, they had that whole bet like fifty cent if he got off sold by Kanye, like um opening we finna retire. Of course he didn't retire, but nobody really cared about fifty cent no more. He could have retired. It wouldn't have bothered me. But um yeah, man, this this is this was a fun this is a fantastic album. Like the like I, this is probably some of my favorite Kanye production on it. I loved his rap verses. I loved everything about this album. Is once again, it's another perfect Kanye album. So Kanye has four perfect albums in his resume. Graduations have to be my personal favorite. And that's it, y'all. What y'all think? Uh, put y'all favorite worst to best in the comments for Kanye. If y'all haven't seen my Eminem one yet, check that out. And the next one I'm about to do is one for the weekend. It was one of my favorite singers. So check that one out too. All right, I'm gone.